Hey, what's up, YouTube? Romeo back with a little short video. Um, you gotta excuse the tank being extra cloudy. Uh, just scrubbed the hell out of all the sides of the glass. But, um, so I just got this little guy here. It's a um, short spine urchin. Now, anybody that has seen my previous videos knows that this tank was ridden with hair algae. So I didn't want to get a bunch of crabs because, well, they beat the hell out of the snails for their shell. I've seen it personally. Um, I got some astria snails, but they didn't do really too much. They just always flapped on their side and died. Um, so I got this little guy. And as you can see, he has cleared... It's like he scraped the hell out the rock of algae. I only got one because I didn't want him to starve. But this rock was full of green hair algae. So you can see all the places he went. Because the rock is, is bone white. So, um, people that are struggling with hair algae and, uh, before you want to go to a chemical route, you want these little guys. Just regular urchin. And, uh, I mean, he's he's amazing. So, um, in my tank, for my cleanup crew, I have three choker snails who don't do anything but chill in one spot and whatever. I got the urchin. Um, I got a banded coral shrimp that... The name Whiskers that doesn't do anything but terrorize the other tank inhabitants. I have a cleaner shrimp up under there. Oh, he does terrorize the Duncans. And I have, well, the urchin name is Ernie. And then we have Mr. Snuffleupagus, which is a uh, fighting con snail. So I got Ernie for the rocks. Those three that don't do anything for the rocks. I have Ernie, well, I have uh, Mr. Snuffleupagus to clean the sand, as he's doing now. And the coral, I mean the cleaning shrimp and the coral bandit shrimp. Just to clean any debris or any food that might have uh, dropped. You know, they'll clean it up on the substrate. So just a short video to show what an urchin can do. I mean, this rock is, you can tell where he's cleaned it at. So this rock looked, well, I can't even compare it to this one because he's stripped that one. But it looks sort of like that. And now it looks like that. So just a short video. Um you guys want to get an urchin for hair algae it's great now I've heard that they do eat coralline algae so that might be a drawback to some people because I know some people hate coralline algae but yeah this guy's pretty cool so like comment subscribe and happy reefing